so definitely they were not happy i i can see that so but uh, i read two or three interviews like this time only people used to share their experience so i realized that doesn't matter what you say they won't be satisfied and maybe that's a that's a test there that when they make faces or they don't look satisfied how do you react do you start to blurb do you start to fumble and all so i guess that was a test but at the same time i had this thing that i can't lie because if i lie i'm i'm pretty bad liar so the very next moment they will catch me Mm. so even if they grill i should say truth because at least i can defend i, I can defend myself in the further questions hi everyone my name is anuj jindal welcome to my channel today i have ritesh meena with me who has cleared rbi examination in the year 2021 first of all congratulations ritesh on Thank clearing you. the Thank examination you, and before we move forward with the actual interview i would uh, request ritesh to introduce himself to talk a little bit about himself about his work experience his uh, education since when has he been preparing for these examinations and then we'll take it forward uh, hi sir uh, so myself ritesh meena i'm from rajasthan chittorgarh so i did my graduation in mechanical street from triple it chennai after which i wrote different exams like cat and then uh, cgl then ibps SBI and uh, I cleared all of them and then finally I joined SBI in 2019 and uh, after I resigned in the, uh, 2020 November so that I can give uh, in a frame to my studies and now finally I have achieved something so I'm here very nice very nice so uh, SBI mein <coughs> kya hota hai ki SBI mein select hote hain UPSC aur RBI ke aspirants kuch yes, time mein bahut sare log chhod dete hain and then they get selected in rbi or upsc so th- there is a very good comparison that you can make number one as to the feeling that you get when you get selected so when the results came out kya feeling thi that i want to know so uh, results were out on 11 september so uh, evening time i was doing some photo editing like I, it's my hobby so i was doing that all of a sudden i got a text from my friend that results are out and all of a sudden my calm was lost my <laughs> hands were shivering so uh, my laptop was open i just and the result tab was open since like 7th of 7 september it's there i never i never turned it off i just refreshed it it was there so i downloaded the list and i have this habit that i never do the control find in any of the results <laughs> so i skimmed my eyes through that okay 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 then i i didn't see my roll number i was like okay fine i am out but then i thought okay what is there in the third line then i saw kate's okay, marolam then i rushed to my mom and but in between i thought that okay maybe i saw the room number wrong so again i came back i downloaded it again and confirmed it twice thrice and then rushed to them because uh, they were waiting for this results this long time then i broke the news and then all of a sudden everything got changed like uh, there's uh, calls i got bombarded with the calls messages wishes and so for initial 2 3 days i i, I felt as if i am celebrity <laughs> and now things are settling down settling but it's down. a great great feeling yes yes uh, i think ek aur uh, aspirant who's got selected was sharing the same with me that normally the reta- the results are like this horizontally but this year i think they were vertical i'm not i'm still not certain about that so he was saying that i read it horizontally my name was not there my roll number was not there and i closed it and then i opened it again just out of curiosity and now this time i went wait, vertically after some time and then i realized ki are bhai i have got selected so i think the same happened with you <laughs> you probably read it horizontally first and then i realized that you are also one of them i took a i had to take a screenshot because many times it happened that people started to wish me and they were like ki such a great feat and all then i used to confirm that okay it's you only <laughs> So that, that was the level for three days. That happens. That happens. I I can I can totally connect with it. Uh, I remember when uh, me and my brother used to prepare for UPSC. So we used to see roll numbers like this. Pre-exam, mains, after interview, we were sitting together. Or then, I remember the last time I gave UPSC, he got selected. Then so, after that, he was searching for his roll number. His roll number was there, and then he rushed to my room. Then he got selected. Then he was searching for his roll number. His roll number was there, and then he rushed to my room. and he was like uh, anush the result is out and i was sleeping at that time and uh, it took me some time to open the door i was very fast asleep and he was like what were you doing inside i was you know knocking on the door give me your roll number the results are out 
and i was like fuck okay <laughs> so that is how the entire uh, process is it's it's very very you know exciting and at the same time very very you know heart rushing at the same time yes uh, so uh, uh, now let's move to the interview part to so interview mein because you've been preparing for a long time for a lot of examinations bahut sara overlap hai i would request you to talk about that over those overlaps i think those are very useful especially for aspirants who have been preparing for a long time yes sir as i said i was preparing for upsc and then sbi so these two three things made the preparation easy for me from upsc for me uh, economic and it's like economic esi part got very easy and then ethics part which was introduced uh, that also got easy and in upsc i had powered uh, as a optional so my management part was also set now the issue and english as i did my uh, graduation and uh, my schooling from english video so it came very handy i didn't have to prepare separately but then came the part finance which was something like atpata all it was all new for me <clears throat> but as i said i was in bank and that time i prepared for gib exam so that time i covered some financial part other than that i also uh, like after my uh, banking hours i used to prepare extensively and i used to read about uh, the finance part especially key because uh, bonds and all equity all those things were very new for me so yeah it took a uh, it took time but uh, finally it helped me out mm-hmm. you're also talking about public administration as your optional and how yes, it sir. helped in your management prep yes sir a uh, role with uh, uh, different theories uh, be it motivational theories or bram maslow and uh, weber theories uh, principles whatever mechanism was there so that came very handy for me because yeah. i already gave multiple readings during my preparation mm. so it was not uh, something new for me hmm hmm so uh, let us start with phase 1 uh, i know you have been preparing for a long time to fir usme zyada yes, problem nahi hui hogi but how yes, did you to before the examination immediately before the examination how did you brush up uh, all the current affairs and all the you know formulas uh, yes, and everything sir. of quantum reasoning sir so, uh, as i was already preparing for many years so quant reasoning and english uh, i didn't prepare anything as such for them but uh, i give 10 marks whatever free marks were available on me i just attempt on them because i consider that as my preparation for these three parts now coming to gk uh, it it varies a bit from the upsc because there we go for analytical part here there is something factual and other than that we have to cover sports news and movies and other things so uh, i was kind of short on time so i i went for this monthly magazine uh, like spotlight was there my friend was using that so i used that and uh, i covered uh, current affairs almost from november december january and february but uh, ideally it should be at least around 6 to 8 months i want suggest to cover only 4 months mm. and then i went very selectively because see if government scheme i used to do then there were like 100 pages but uh, i had this intuition that okay this schemes could be asked this scheme is not relevant so i used to cut them and uh, and how to get the intuition that i'll talk now i i will then Uh, there is a static part like they will ask for cm governors and so we can't go and mug up everything in a short time so you just have to write on youtube that some mnemonics are there so static part was covered in that way hmm. uh, economics etc was already in my grip due to upsc thing hmm. and one more thing is there uh, this uh, budget and economy uh, survey hmm. that i went through the, some summaries and i also use uh, uh, your addition is there i am not able to recall the exact name but there were some uh, summary related to budget and economic survey both mm. so i referred that to mm. now coming to the uh, three tips which i thought it, it would be very important for everyone first of all we should always go to the previous year questions mm. the and it's not like this one time you'll go and you'll be the, okay these are questions are which will be asked if you'll go again and again every time you'll get a new learning that okay they are asking this sort of question so first thing is that you should always go to the previous year question you should analyze that okay they are asking this sort of question so you will get that intuition that acha ye question pucha ja sakta hai then second thing sir mock analysis should be there as i said that i always attempt a mock so those 10 mocks were not like that i just attempted and i checked my marks or i just read the explanation and let it go i used to write whatever uh, mistakes i did and then i used to repeat them i i, I used to revise again and again so that they can ingrain in my mind and third thing uh, if possible you can have a group of two to three friends not more at least two to three friends who are preparing with you so when you talk with them uh, even when you talk you will revise many things See, they will ask you something you will ask them something and you can ask something only when you know it 
so that was very helpful at least i am seeing around 10 to 15 questions came from our discussion itself so yes. i guess that should be there Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're talking about government schemes and your strategy yes, with respect to them. Can you talk a little in detail about the same, uh, sir? If there was some schemes like uh, it's uh, state-wise or not very important, then I I ignore that. It should not be there. But as I said, I was short on time. But I consider that every scheme which is related to economics or finance related, and uh, if it was in news like Garib Kalyan Yojana was there, so mm-hmm. if those schemes are there. then you have to cover it extensively you have to go in very detail but if very minor scheme is there then the rough idea you can say okay it's working under this ministry that's all you don't need to go in the targets or what age it will be enroll and all things because mm. even they know that people everyone can't know every, everything so mm. that mm. way is that was the strategy so that way you could eliminate a lot of schemes which yes, according sir. to you were not relevant enough yeah. and of course you have to take your chances you cannot just cover yes, everything sir. under the sun you have to take that much risk when you're going in for such an examination utna to karna padta hai but if it's time is there time is there then you should reach you should that. cover yes that makes yes, sense because you can't take risk yes 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 ha wo risk zabardasti nahi lena chahiye if you have time it's better to cover everything Haan, because course. my situation was different so hmm. i can't say for everyone yes uh, let's move to phase 2 now phase 2 mein yes, uh, whatever you have prepared whatever uh, yes, ways sir. you followed can you just talk about those Yes, sir. Uh, I'll start with the English. It was English part was anyway. It was easy for me, so I didn't prepare for it. Mm-hmm. But as I said, practice will be there because this time uh, word limit was there, and then uh, pressy was a thing which was kind of new for me. Already, mm-hmm. I, I have attempted in UPSC, but when it's about typing and to read, mm-hmm. so first thing I did, I checked two to three videos on pressy writing. What are the rules and how you have to attempt it. and then i practice at least two or three presses that's it that's it mm. and coming to essays i wrote around 10 or 12 essays mm. uh, i guess you gave a list uh, mm. that at that time you provided a list that these are the most important but mm. that list was around 100 topics i guess so but mm. i covered 10 to 50 mm. uh, so that gave me a fine practice also it increased my knowledge uh, that helped me out there and due to working in bank i already had typing speed i just need to अकोमेट दूस इन दर्ड्स की ओके तीन सौ वर्ड में लिखना है छह सौ वर्ड में लिखना है तो विद प्रैक्टिस आपको आएगा सो फॉर इंग्लिश दैट्स ऑल आई कैन से यू नीड टू प्रैक्टिस एज मच एज यू कैन देन कमिंग टू ई एस आई पार्ट अगेन आई वॉज ए बिट थरो थ्रू दिस थिंग बट सो इफ समन इज ऑलरेडी प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यूपीएससी और फॉर सम अदर एग्जाम नो नीड टू चेंज योर सोर्सेज वट एवर सोर्स इज देयर जस्ट रीड इट अगेन एंड अगेन सो दैट यू रिमेंबर द फैक्ट और इट मे हेल्प यू टू डिड्यूज द आंसर Hmm. but if someone is new and he wants to start with a scratch then either you can go for ncrts you can check murnal videos even uh, on on your uh, channel also videos are there any uh, very small topic also are covered hmm. and then uh, uh, i went for uh, if there are some topics then you can go to ramesh singh also you don't hmm. need to read it thoroughly because again it's a bulky book and you won't be able to cover but if there is some specific topic like i used to go for uh two or three topics were there which i didn't find anywhere so i used to refer that otherwise uh i as i said i was doing a uh, upsc thing so i had this wajiram yellow book and i read it so many times that now i can't cover it in one one hour or 1.5 hour so i went through that but for new people they can go uh, as their uh, wish like ncrt or ramesh singh or right any right. other notes right right and for esi demographic data etc so there is a blog uh, in this rbi grade b officer is there 2018 mm-hmm. uh, skida blog is there mm-hmm. so they he provided very script not uh, not only on esi but also about rbi nabards they be all all things in some detail or there so that we can attend the questions there mm-hmm. that i took help from there mm-hmm. and again scheme as i already said that i just skim through them and that if something will be i will write it and then uh, social structure sir it was on uh, daily hindu like i used to read it uh, not very deeply like not covering every word but i must have some idea okay this thing was going gender equality or something related to that so that way i covered the esi thing mm. and now finance part uh, sir again i will say that uh, for finance part one can check the skida blog because he gave very extensively with the list of topic and the uh, source kahan se like prasan chandra book i referred that time prasan chandra book is there those books are very bulky but uh, in blog he specified the these number of chapters you have to cover and the way you have to cover that is there then uh, visit uh, sir rbi website you can visit because in speeches what is there ki uh, they will explain it very easy language simple language and it will be very lucid to you so you can mm. recall in the exam also mm. 
other than that sir, uh, this time financial crisis etc was there hmm. so what i did i checked out two to three videos hmm. and i prepared a mind map and i practiced it that so that i can recall it any time uh, just i have to think financial crisis and there will be a mind map in my uh, mind so hmm. that way you can make notes and revise them and other than that sir uh, if there are few topics like corporate governance etc over there so these things were covered in bajiram yellow book again so mm. i referred those uh, even for ethics i read that book only mm. and revised it again and again and one more thing sir uh, like uh, this thinkers name were there different thinkers were there mesla and all so the moment you start to revise you can't re- you can't read every book again so when i was reading on a rough sheet i had a book uh, so i used to write one or two line points that's all not more than that so when you revise uh you can read everything whatever you wrote you can read and what happens that whenever rbi will ask it won't go very deep and specifically that you have to tell this thinkers uh, theory it will go that okay what is motivation what are the theories or uh, what are corporate governance theories or such thing so that time even those two lines if you add you'll get a proper answer and even the uh, whoever is checking the paper he will get an idea okay he knows the thing mm. so i think that you should revise and revise that's all i mm mm-hmm. I think a lot of students uh, who have got selected and I've been taking a lot of interviews, they're saying the same thing again and again. I, and I think that's a that's a consistent, uh, you know, point that everyone is making. So I think the future aspirants should make it a point that, uh, you know, they always keep revising whatever they're reading. Uh, and uh, I think towards the examination, it's more important to revise whatever you've read rather than try and read something new. I think that's very that's more important. then merely revising uh, you know uh, and trying to read something new at the same time so wonderful okay uh, now let's move to the interview part uh, because you have had a gap of almost 4 years so they must have asked you some tough questions yeah. probably so can you take us through the through the interview so for me i guess interview was the only toughest part like uh, i was totally clueless that what should i say and how to prepare and that time when my senior was there in sbi and i asked him because he already set an interview didn't get in but he was he set an interview so i asked him that how should i go he was like ki uh, anyone can get knowledge but first thing is that you should know yourself the moment you know yourself you can crack the interview so i started to first my plan was that okay i'll read the transcripts and i'll mark up all the answers but the moment i asked myself okay why why are we or why are leaving as we i was blank I'm like what should i say so first thing uh, i started to prepare uh, prepare those answers ki why i am leaving it and luckily they didn't ask me about the gaps and all they just asked me that uh, what are the push factor from spn what is the pull factor which i answered because i i prepared that thoroughly and then i i also attempted uh, mocks uh, one mock was with you only and that time also i got some positive feedback so that have some positive feel okay i can do and other than that sir uh, you can go through again you can go through the speeches because uh, in interview one thing is that with every passing day your syllabus keeps on increasing there is no particular syllabus you can't go to it uh, so it's better to go through those speeches again that will be very lucid and that high probability of asking because in our session many people were asked about the master card mm. because it was in news mm. uh, many people were asked about uh, the financial inclusion thing because again it was in news and mm. it was there in speeches so i guess that is a way that you can go through the speeches and you can prepare yourself now coming to those uh, who are re- uh, resigning or already working in some uh, office that should their first uh, preparation should be why you are leaving it why you are going to rb goes from there other questions will follow you mm. and who just did their graduation or gap is there then they should be thorough with their uh, at least final year projects or some basics of their uh, subject uh, that will be sufficient i guess okay amazing so uh, you know it often comes to uh, uh, my notice that the panel is uh, you know not very uh, not not convinced enough that you left sbi for let's say xyz reason or uh, uh, you know they they did not look very happy with your answer did that happen and how did you how did you overcome that because if they asked you about leaving sbi yes, join, you know trying yes. here normally they get very offensive and aggressive yes, and they say that you don't know where you're going so what was yes, the approach sir. there so definitely they were not happy i, I can see that so but uh, i read two or three interviews like this time only people used to share their experience so i realized it doesn't matter what you say they won't be satisfied 
and maybe that's a that's a test there that when they make faces or they don't look satisfied how do you rate do you start to bluff do you start to fumble and all so i guess that was a test but at the same time i had this thing that i can't lie because if i lie i'm i'm pretty bad liar so the very next moment they will catch me Mm-hmm. so even if they grill i should say truth because at least i can defend i, I can defend myself in the further questions mm-hmm. so i guess that's a part uh, you need not to be very negative on that uh, mm-hmm. everyone almost everyone with whom i talked they were like he, he asked me and he didn't look uh, satisfied at all mm-hmm. same thing happened with me and they, in fact they had this pattern that one person will ask the question and he will get out of the room again mm-hmm. to create the pressure ki uh, maybe he didn't like my answer he went out so mm-hmm. these all are the tests that you have to st- you have to stand against them हम्म वेरी वेल वेरी वेल तो इंटरव्यू में मॉक्स के अलावा व्हाट अदर यू यू मेंशन स्पीचेस यू मेंशन मॉक्स वाज देयर एनीथिंग स्पेसिफिक अदर देन दिस दैट यू फॉलोड सर आई फील दैट फॉर दिस एग्जाम इन इंटरव्यू आई रियलाइज दिस सो आई वांट अदर्स टू नो फ्रॉम द डे वन प्रिपेयर फॉर द इंटरव्यू हम्म बिकॉज़ व्हेन यू स्टार्ट टू प्रिपेयर फॉर इंटरव्यू यू स्टार्ट टू आस्क क्वेश्चंस हम्म व्हेन यू प्रिपेयर ओनली फॉर प्रीलिम्स यू जस्ट मार्क अप द फैक्ट्स when again you will prepare for the main you will practice writing but when it comes to interview hmm. you start to uh, do the counter questions okay operation oh, twist is there everyone will mark up there okay sell short bonds and buy long term bonds okay fine but then the next question they ask ki why hmm. it was already there right why did hmm. you do that hmm. uh, why government is doing it so if very day when if you uh, this approach not only it will help you in interview but even in mains it will help you uh, to put better points out there okay this is the reason things are happening yes. and uh, you uh, you will get a conceptual clarity out there yes right? it will not be just mugging up because now somewhere rbi is twisting that factual thing now it's coming to a bit analytical now even yes. in prelims you can see that yes so that was the thing uh, other than say one more thing uh, i checked out the transcripts like 50 50 40 transcripts i checked Hmm. with every transcript uh, the only thing i got was anxiety attacks nothing else hmm. so i'll because see sir everyone's background will be different mine was sbi engineering someone might be from medical or someone might be commerce background so as i said from very first question the other questions will be followed so so uh, every time you'll write and you'll feel that 80% questions are not not, to, not known to you and also you feel that looking you don't know anything because it it happened with me mm. so i will suggest that no need to go for transcript you can see the basic questions so okay fine these are the conceptual questions there you can mm. write it down because i wrote it came around some 200 points and i used to revise them extensively that mm. that can be taken but not anxiety don't mm. get so attached ki okay uh, in se pucha to mujhe kyun nahi aa raha it's not necessary moreover the transcripts you are reading it's not necessary you are reading of the person who got selected right yes. so it might be there that person didn't make it or maybe he made it so uh, you stick guide is broader guidance don't uh, take it too hard ki mujhe nahi aa raha yes i think that's a very good point that you brought out don't take, transcripts are for direction not for judging yeah. yourself not for yes, uh, you know measuring your performance with uh, you know the interview board then we start to compare and it's yes. not that yes i think very good yes so uh, i think i've had a beautiful discussion with you uh, the points that you've brought out specially with respect to revision government schemes i think they're very very relevant and the future aspirants can use it smartly in order to prepare well uh, anything that you would want to share yes, with your uh, six points yes six points sir uh, whatever i learned through my small journey i like uh, six points should be there which everyone should remember first thing sir have a small group of friends again two to three friends not just for discussion purpose but sir during this journey as i said many a times you will get uh, anxiety attacks many times you will feel very low so there should be someone uh, where you can vent out the things and they do support you so there is very important many people don't realize that mm. second thing sir you have to be very positive the moment we see that okay 140 seats are there all over india we do get it okay yaar isme mera nahi ho sakta Hmm. i to had this feeling but then i started to do one thing which everyone can do every time i used to face the mirror uh, just like that i used to say okay uh, this is uh, rbi gate the officer ritesh mini that used to bring a smile and again i used to uh, go for studies uh, it might not be some magic but it definitely brings some positivity hmm. and third i already mentioned it from day one prepare for interview don't wait that interview aayega to main interview ke liye karunga hmm and fourth sir don't limit yourself to the books because as i said i was short on time i didn't read anything about ipo or something in books but uh, during last uh, last year i was trading i was applying in ipos so the practical knowledge came very handy i was like ki ha ye mujhe pata hai i that's why i felt ki 
financial paper was very easy for me because i knew that okay I, this all things i already done i don't have any doubts in that so don't limit yourself books ki mai books padh ke hi jana be aware about your uh, surrounding also and then sixth uh, fifth point is that it's a long process now uh, in hindsight it might look ki 6 mahine ki taiyari 7 mahine ki taiyari but it's a process for if you ask me i prepare i pre- preparing from 2017 maybe from different stream but somewhere that knowledge came very handy Yes. and last if if at all possible do some physical exercise in 5 minutes meditation not more but at least 5 minutes meditation it, it calms your both mind and body so mm. these are the six tips i want to give i think uh, these are amazing tips and students ko ye deewar pe laga ke roz follow karna chahiye it's very very important the, the you know in life uh, normally there are the small things that matter more uh, yes, than the bigger things that we keep running after तो या अगर कोई स्टूडेंट मेडिटेट कर पा रहा है रोज आई थिंक ही इज गोइंग टू हैव अ डिफरेंट लेवल ऑफ पॉजिटिविटी इन हिज माइंड एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू हैव अ बिग इंपैक्ट ऑन हिज स्टडीज ऑन हिज मेंटल एटीट्यूड ऑल दोस थिंग्स या यस इट वाज वेरी नाइस टॉकिंग टू यू रितेश आई थिंक मुझे ज्यादा क्वेश्चंस पूछने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ी यू हैव हैड अ वेरी कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव प्रिपरेशन तो वो कहीं ना कहीं इट इज यू नो रिफ्लेक्टिंग विद द वे दैट यू आर आंसरिंग यू आर एक्सप्लेनिंग ऑल द थिंग्स so uh, uh, you know congrats again, again and thanks a lot for coming you, online sir. sharing your experience and i'm very you, sure you're going to love working in rbi chahe jaipur mein ho chahe mumbai mein ho chahe delhi mein ho it's going to be a lovely experience sure sir i'm expecting to see